The hunting experience is what you make it. Uh, it may start out as a disaster and turn into a big laugh all day long in the dug blind and you and your friends or family can enjoy looking back and talking about that. Hunting upland game, it's all about the dog, it's not about you. That dog is a real asset and that's the only reason you're getting birds. In the beginning, it's the adventure, then it becomes an, the camaraderie, then it becomes a passion with you and your dog. Without a dog, it's almost empty. If you are congenial, if you're friendly and uh, willing to abide by the farmer rancher's wishes, like close my gates, don't litter, pick up your shells, treat that land as though it was a sacred land because it could be. It's been a lasting, wonderful, valuable re relationship. And those are the types of relationships that you you bond to, having the same light as other people and the same wishes and needs and wants and uh, those are the things that you bond to. It's going to take an asserted effort from grandpas and dads to get their children and grandchildren involved. You've got to get them uh, involved up front and make it a really enjoyable experience for them. Uh, it's not about you, it's about them. Get them involved early, get them involved often, but make it about them. It's not for you, it's for them and the future of the sport. After you, you drive all night and you get to the motel at midnight and get up at four o'clock in the morning and, and uh, set out your decoy, you get dressed, you're freezing, uh, you get out there and set out your decoys and watch the sunrise and you know, that's a, it's exhilarating. It's a wonderful time uh, to be with your friends and family and, and enjoy the great outdoors 